But are we dealing with a clash of cultures, Western civilization, and people that come from countries where perhaps they grew up under Sharia law? Is this now a, going to be a growing problem here in the U.S. if, in fact, we take in refugees from Syria and Iraq and elsewhere? It has been a problem, Sean, and the West has been dealing with the war with a clash of civilization. The problem is the West is refusing to acknowledge the fact that we are at war, despite the fact that our enemies tell us repeatedly, we are at war with you, we are at war with you, we do not like your ways, we abhor your immorality, we abhor your materialism. This is how they view us. At least the people in France were honest enough to express their opinion. We know the same thing is happening in America today. Poll after poll have showed that. And what we are concerned about right now is these so-called refugees that we are bringing are people who are coming to our shores, who do not share our values, even though they are not raised necessarily or born into countries that adhere to Sharia law. But with the uprise of Islamic radicalism throughout the world, they are all experiencing the rebirth of spiritual Islam, of the Islam of Muhammad. And that's what they are gravitating to and bringing to Why our shores. Imam, let me ask you this, this question. The National Head of Intelligence, National Intelligence Agency, James Clapper, said that when we take in, in among the refugee <clears throat> population, there will be ISIS, there will be Al-Qaeda that infiltrate that population as a means of getting into the West. So my question for you is, why should America, why should any country in Europe take in any of these refugees knowing that their enemies will infiltrate that population? Sean, I think that we are changing the subject. The refugees are the victims hey, Mom, of the... Wait a minute. Hey, Mom, I don't, I don't want to change... Listen, I asked you a question. Why should Western countries, if their intelligence are telling them that ISIS and Al-Qaeda will infiltrate the refugee population, tell me why any of these countries should take in any of these migrants? Kennedy, You're not answering any of my questions. Let me go to... Freedom me, and uh, democracy is targeted by these attacks. terrorists. The terror attacks that happen around the world so often are radical Islamic terrorists. Now, Hillary Clinton, and Robert Spencer says, I don't think we're at war with radical Islam. And the president thinks what happened at Fort Hood is workplace violence. And these are man-caused disasters and overseas contingency operations, Robert. But the reality is we have a president that won't say the words radical Islam. We have presidential candidates now that won't say it. And their plan is to bring in refugees from countries without any ability to ask ascertain whether or not they have our best interests at heart or whether or not they buy into radicalism. Why should we take in any of them? There's just no way. There's no way to tell. We shouldn't take any of them. We should send them all to Saudi Arabia, where there's plenty of room and where they are it have their in complete commonality linguistically, culturally, and religiously. There is absolutely no reason. You know why the Saudis are not taking them? Because they know, and they say openly, that there are terrorists among them. The Islamic State, we should recall, last February, ISIS said they were going to send 500,000 refugees into Europe. That was before the crisis began. In September, one of their operatives said, we've already sent 4,000 G jihadis into Europe. And the Lebanese education minister just weeks ago estimated that there were 20,000 active jihadis among the refugees in his country. And it's absolutely impossible to tell the jihadis from genuine refugees, and we shouldn't take even one of them. But the denial, as you point out, Sean, it's universal. The uh, presidential candidates are saying this is not a problem, not a threat, and we should bring these people in solely on humanitarian grounds. We're setting ourselves up for a jihad attack on the scale of Paris in New York or Washington or L.A. or Chicago or all of them. He's a war criminal. Sean, one people at a time. Ask me all, Sean, people, people ask me all the time, what can we do to to make sure that these Syrian refugees do not come to our country. And I tell them, go to our website, actforamerica.org. We have a petition right now to the leadership of Congress to stop Obama from bringing refugees into the country. Sign up to get our action alerts. We, we now know that under the law, any community that is, that is going to bring refugees into that community must hold under the law public hearing. We are notifying people nationwide when these public hearings are held. So citizens who are concerned about this issue issue can show up and express right, Brigitte, their opinion. To Go to the, the, actforamerica.org. But this we have to all right, I have Sean, to interrupt Sean, there. Listen, I want to thank you Sean. all for being with us. Sean, we you really invited appreciate, us. You... We appreciate your time. Thank you. Coming up next.